Alright folks, today I'm out here uh, down by Highlands, Texas. We've got bees in a commercial boiler. Um, I actually got this call from a friend of mine, uh, John Schrader. He's with Environmental Health Specialties. And uh, he does pest management, water treatment, all the works. And uh, he's recently uh, born again, wants to save the bees and not kill the bees. So he called me and asked if I could help him get these bees out of this boiler uh, that he was called on. Now this is a special situation in that we cannot disassemble this boiler. So today we're going to do a trap out. This is the first trap out I've ever done. But we're just going to get it set up today. <coughs> and uh, we're going to blow some smoke and a bottom drain plug on this boiler and see if we can't start driving the bees out to get them started. Um, but other than that, we're just going to set up the trap out and go home and come back and check on okay, them later so what on. What we had so to do was um, where that port comes out of the, the top of the boiler up there, it's actually an angle. So we can't run it straight into the back of the box like we wanted to. So we've rigged up a little flexible elbow here. We've got a, a inch and a half to a one inch swedge and then we've put a piece of screen on it just to give us a flexible elbow and then a piece of half inch PVC. So we'll run the half inch PVC into the back of the box. That's the access. This gives us our elbow so the bees will come out of the boiler, come through the swedge, go through the corner of the screen there and then come out the back and go into the box. So we'll get all this hooked up and uh, then we'll make another little bit about it. Okay, all so y'all can see now we've got our little elbow hooked up here. And you can actually see we've got one bee already in there. So she has found her way up the pipe and is crawling around inside that screen trying to figure out how to get out. And uh, that's actually really good. I'm glad she did that because I was concerned that that screen would collapse and I wouldn't be able to figure out how to, you know, get the bees to be able to flow through it pretty good. But I think this is going to actually work really well because um, that screen is going to offer them the light that they want coming down in. So they're still going to recognize this as the entrance. And then as they come up in there, they'll just realize that they need to go on out into the box. This bottom box here is full of scraps of comb from a cutout that I did before where the bees died out on me. And then up top I've got a box full of just open foundation for them to build on if they want to. We've got a queen excluder in between. You can see the plastic lip right there. Queen excluder in between so that I know the queen will be able to come out into this bottom box. She can't get up into the top box so when we come back in a couple weeks or whatever to check on them, hopefully by then everybody will be in this box. They will have abandoned the boiler um, and we'll be able to just pop this box open, find the queen, cager, and then go from there. So, for right now, we're going to light the smoke and start blowing smoke in this bottom hey, entrance. Folks, I just had to make a correction that I'd tell you all about. We had all this rigged up and I was real proud of it, thought it was nice, and then I realized I never put a funnel on the tip where this pipe sticks into the box. That's the whole point, is you got to put a funnel on there like a catfish trap so they can find their way out but not their way in. So, we still had a full half inch open pipe sticking out, and I was afraid that if we did, <laughs> if we did that, the bees would just start to walk right through this box and out and they just use it for a, a passageway, just a much smaller entrance. But you can see there now inside, there's an awful lot of them in there. They're, they're starting to come out a lot heavier, but they're, they're not too sure about going into that pipe and into the box. So we're just going to, they're figuring it out, they're exploring, but we're going to start blowing some smoke in the bottom and start seeing if we can't drive them through.